I like this shirt because it makes me feel like an X-Men. I like it. If I was an X-Men, what X-Men would I be? Sometimes I have the Wolverine sort of attributes, but who am I kidding? I'd want to be like Jean Grey, like mentally fuck with people, you know? So am I the only one who's over all the pride stuff? Yes, I know, I know. Historically, it's important. What it stems from is a lack of rights, a lack of freedoms, a lack of tolerance, acceptance, fighting, you know, the bigotry and the animosity and the taboo element. I get it, I get it, and that part is really important. But when you look at what gay pride has evolved into, these ridiculous parades where people are getting shit-faced and they're high on drugs, prancing on a parade floor. I know that's not hurting anybody, but does it hurt the cause? You know, if a family from like middle of nowhere, Idaho, comes to New York City for a week and they walk by the parade and this is their understanding of what it means to be gay or what gay culture is, like that concerns me as a gay person. Not to mention all the brand and corporate exploitation that now exists. Like I've never seen it quite like it's been this year. And I don't know if it's COVID related that suddenly all these brands have all this unused money from 2020 or, or like they're just excited to have some thing to promote or to market because last year was such a shit show with COVID. But this year, this June has felt very overwhelming to me with how much the quote unquote gay agenda is being pushed. And I'm saying this as a gay person, it just feels very icky to me, like how much it's been milked for corporate purposes or marketing purposes. I don't care that you have a rainbow outfit this month, limited edition, or a rainbow cake this month for Pride, or I don't know, uh, you know, 50% off all month for, for Pride celebration. I just want you to treat gay people like human beings. I don't give a shit about your promotion this month. I mean, on the one hand, obviously it's beautiful that like growing up as a gay person and all the like chagrin that came with that and all the isolation and the paranoia for it now to be so out in the open at least in the states it's a beautiful thing that like the tide has turned and now it's not so taboo right but at the same time i still feel like it paints this picture that makes us all look one-dimensional and that's not cool either my pain my childhood like anxiety and sadness should not be turned into a marketing effort or like a, a corporate agenda to make profit. So it's something I struggle with because I don't want to be another person like bitching about representation, but it's also like, is that the representation that we want or that we would need? It's kind of like how I subscribed to Vogue magazine during the pandemic and Black Lives Matter got this huge uh, exposure and all these protests happened and suddenly all the models everywhere are black, except for Bella Hadid, who for whatever reason is still in every fucking Vogue that I've gotten since then. It's like, oh, let's throw Bella in, in there and, and this other girl, but everybody else needs to be black. And it feels like a gimmick. That's the thing, it's about intention. Like it doesn't feel genuine. It feels very disingenuous and it feels gimmicky to the point where I was like, I don't even wanna be subscribed anymore. Like it just feels like they're forcing it because they feel guilty, because it's a guilt trip or because they just feel like, oh, this is the thing we need to do right now. Like. Just for now, let's just have a lot of black people in there. And then once this dies down, we'll go back to the regularly scheduled program. And I feel like it's the same thing with the gay pride stuff. It's like, you fucked up all our childhoods and now you're like shoving this down our throat like, We accept you. We're okay with you. I am not buying it. But again, I don't want to complain too much because I'm thinking about like the gay employees at these companies that are like, oh wow, like somebody is at least pretending to care that I exist or that I'm a part of the culture of, of humans. Or more importantly, I guess like the little kids growing up who know that they're gay like I did and see this on, see these ads on TV or billboards and they're like, okay, like things are gonna be okay. Like it's okay to be me. It's not as taboo as I thought it would be or whatever. Anyway, I'm just sounding off. I'm gonna go for a run in my X-Men outfit.